all gone. All right, good morning everyone. Welcome back to Pretty View Outdoors. Okay, so today we are actually out on the water um, doing a little early Wisconsin catch and release. Um, I can't really say it's early because uh, Wisconsin's catch and release actually opened up uh, the first weekend of January, I believe. And currently right now it is February. So kind of funny because like when it was actually pretty warm, I didn't come out. Um, I was too busy ice fishing and now that it's a little cold, today's like 23 degrees out. Um, I finally decided to come out here. So we're going to be doing a lot of uh, ice breaking off of our guide rings. That's for sure. Anyways, guys, uh, just stick around and hopefully we manage to catch some, uh, some trout for you guys. go up higher you cast in that foam foam above this pile of wood and then we'll go all the way up and we'll cast all those foam area trout like to hang around foam foam is dead space and that's where all the bugs get stuck He cast across. This is where the fish biting should start right here. Oh, dude, that's a nice one too, dude. That's like a 12, 14. Finally. Bucky, man, look at it. Look at the little, the little kite on it. Nice, bro. You want a picture? No, I'm good. <laughs> Why, huh? Not big enough. <laughs> Not big enough for me. You get it? Yeah. I got him pretty good. There we go. Dude, nice. That's a pretty guy, dude. Let's see a little snout on him. He's a little male. <laughs> this is like my trout I catch at Great Lakes could eat this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, bro. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's, pretty cool. that's like average here, dude. <laughs> Yeah, your first, I I your first brown on a streamer inland. Probably your biggest inland trout too, huh? Yeah, sure. We should have measured it. Well, brown, yeah. This part here. Yeah. I got, I'm gonna streamer first. I don't catch a lot of streamer here, but when I start limping, it should be killer. All gone. There you go, you guys. I don't even know if I'm recording right now or not. Oh, come on, buddy. I'm trying to help you here. Nice little hen. Oh, there she goes. Cool, that when you're ready. Come down here, let's nymph. When you're ready, come down back down here and we nymph. All right, you guys, we, you guys just saw me and Cooser streamer fishing the whole entire way up. Now we switched up, um, well, I switched it up. I'm currently nymphing. Cooser's still throwing streamers up there, but just now I told him to come down here when he's done trying to catch one off a of streamer and then uh, we could just start nymphing. Cause nymphing here is amazing when you can get them to bite. Usually I would have my float my indicators on. Yeah, my fly box right there. Should I go sheet? Should I go sheet? Do do, huh? 
Uh, it's in my small hooks. <coughs> that little top box. <coughs> yep. So the water is a little deeper and faster, so usually I use like kind of like the bigger ones. Yeah. So they sink down faster. Nice, bro! Killing it! Who's just showing me how it's done? There you go. There you go, you guys. Come on, buddy. Should be barbless. There you go. Bloop. There you go, you guys. Another little brownie. This isn't really my nymph. I picked this one up last fall from a tree. There we are. Bloop. Awesome. That's awesome. You can do this all day. All right, you guys. Not gonna lie, it is freezing out right now. Um, Cruiser's actually around that bend, and I'm just gonna kinda hang around here. Plan is just to fish till 12. Right now it's currently 11, so we're not gonna be here too much longer, I don't think. So I'm just gonna hang around here. Um, quite honestly, now that the sun is out, the wind's actually picked up too, so it feels a lot colder. Than... There you go. Yeah, they're picking up again. Anyways, guys, look at this. Beautiful fish. Wet your hands a little bit. Sorry, buddy, come on. There you go. Oop, there you go. Yeah, these guys are a lot tinier than what they were last year. But you know what? Whatever, we're catching fish. We're catching fish. Let's gotta get that big guy. There's gotta be a bigger guy in here. You can see that wind? It's blowing my line towards me. Yep, just stripling nymphs. Easiest way to catch fish during winter, I want to say. There you go. There you go, guys. Easy pickings. Slay for days. I'm wetting my hands before I touch these fish because it's so cold out, but then my hands are freezing too. Guy, come on, man, chill. There you go. There she goes. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice fishing with Cooser because uh, not that I don't like fishing with other people, but then Cooser likes to do a lot of steelhead fishing, so float fishing. So nothing's not that much different from it, quite honestly. So he's actually got the patience to keep trying over and over again in a hole. So that's why it's kind of nice to fish with Cooser. Um, but then, uh, yeah. Given I love fishing with anyone else, it's just uh, fun to experience and give them a good experience, especially when it comes to fly fishing for trout, inland trout. Not a lot of people do it. Not a lot of people that I know do it. So it's always a bonus when you get someone else into the hobby. I love showing people the loops, ins and outs of things, especially when uh, it's something that they don't know or even um, have never considered it. So yeah, I always like to tell people that uh, once they're sick of like doing any kind of other fishing, to come to me and I'll show them how to uh, catch them on fly. 
different experience. There you go. Always a great time when you catch that bonus fish. It's about four inches. Took my fly pretty hard, made my rod bend. Caught four out here. Small guys though. Nothing. Nothing that was as big as the ones we caught on streamer. There you go. Okay, let's throw on streamers again. Unless you want a nymph. Okay, I'm gonna throw on a black streamer and then uh, we'll work our way back to the bridge. Oh my gosh! Kimono! Yeah, I sent a tree. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I think that'll be all for today. Um, the wind's actually picking up, and I am very cold. I feel like it's even colder than this morning. But yeah, um, today, Kuzo and I we actually did pretty good. I think we caught like four or five fish each a piece. Um, I'm gonna have to see what I managed to film. But um, yeah, it wasn't that horrible of a day. But uh, quite honestly, I wish it would have been like at least another 20 degrees warmer uh, and sunshine. And I honestly think the bite would have been probably better too. But you know what? It is what it is. And we managed to catch fish. And as always, a bonus. One of these guys, that'll be all for today. Uh, again, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, peace.